Hey there, I hope you're doing great. On today's tutorial, I wanna show you how you can get rid of the IMEI blacklist on only a few minutes. Everything is completely online, meaning you don't have to download anything. It's gonna be very straightforward, and I'm gonna show you how you can do it on today's video. So the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that we need to check that we're actually facing the IMEA issue. So the first test that I suggest is to enter any SIM card, uh, preferably the SIM card of your carrier, and we're gonna test if it's getting any signal. This is the first side that uh, we're facing this issue. So you can see emergency calls only, it's not working. So we're gonna go over to any tool. I suggest to use IMEI24. You can use whatever you want. This is an open source information. So, okay, I need to obtain the IMEI number. There are many ways how you can do it, but my favorite one is to go and um, just dial the following USSD code. So as you, star pound zero six pound and i got my amii number right there so we're gonna go and enter that amii number onto the form and we're gonna then check what is the status of it so we're gonna press check afterwards i need to complete the catch another robot and we're gonna check it Okay guys, as you can see, it says that the device is blacklisted, uh, saying device over here. Just gonna copy that, cause I'm gonna use it in just a second. And it's gonna be really easy to fix it. So we're gonna go back to safeonlogs.com. Remember guys, this is the main tool we're gonna use. We don't need anything else. We're gonna go over to services, press on your IMEI blacklist removal tool. And over here, we need to enter some really basic information to start the unlocking. So first, we'll need to enter a valid, well, our name, then a valid email. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we need to select the device model. So you can see there, there is iPhone, there is Samsung, there is Huawei, there is actually everything. So I'm gonna check over here for Samsung. I have an IMEI, of course I have an IMEI. I'm gonna enter the IMEI number. I need to verify all information. I fully recommend to do that, guys, to double check all information before sending it over to the server. So afterwards, you just need to press the proceed button. Okay, guys, at this point, it's gonna be really straightforward what you have to do. I fully recommend to watch this tutorial down below. It contains everything you need to understand how to continue with this process. I'm not gonna show you this part, that's a full tutorial down there. So I'll see you again once I'm done with it. Okay guys, I'm back. You might be wondering what to do now. If you watch the full tutorial, all you have to do is to go into your inbox. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna wait for the first email containing it or activation ID. So let's wait for it. Okay guys, great news. We have the first email over here, activation ID. We're gonna open it up. Hey there, thank you for activating your order. Please use the following code to activate your order. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna go back to the order and we're gonna paste it. So you can see I got the start order button here and we're simply gonna press it. It says your order is now in progress. All you have to do again is to go back to your inbox. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna wait for a second email containing in the confirmation that the process has been completed and that your device has been removed from the blacklist. So let's wait for that. Great, we have the second email over here. Your blacklist was removed from your device. We're gonna open it up. Hey there, your application was submitted and applied successfully. Feel free to try this service using any trusted third-party IMEI checker tool. We're gonna do that in just a second, but first, we're gonna take the same device that we just used before, the Samsung A50. So I got it over here. I have the same SIM card we just used seconds ago, and we're just simply gonna enter it and see what happens. So we're gonna do that, and if everything goes right, we will see that this one it's picking at signal. So let's wait for that. All right, as you can see, we got signal. But before that, what we wanna do is to go and check on the third party tool if this is actually correct. So we're gonna do just that. So we're gonna go 
to the browser. We're gonna copy our IMEI number. We're gonna refresh the page. And over here, we're gonna simply paste it, check, complete the I not a robot. And do you guys see that? Wait, let's wait a second for that. All right, so as you can see, blacklist status clean. All right, the pop up is gone. Blacklist status clean. This means that the phone is completely unlocked. It was super easy. I couldn't recommend this service enough, safeunlocks.com. If you guys wanna do it, I fully recommend you go over to Safe Unlocks and do it by yourself. Again, you don't need anything other than a browser, an internet connection, in a few minutes of your time. I hope I was really helpful and I'll see you again on the next tutorial. See ya.